Hey, what's up guys, it's Number One Pride here, and today what I'm bringing you guys is probably one of my best gameplays to date. It's not like the best title-wise, if you know what I mean, it's not going to be the most view-grabbing title ever, because as you guys can tell, for those who did read the title um, for the video, instead of, you know, just watching it because it's me who uploaded it or whatever, but um, this is a double hipfire only chem strike, which hasn't been done by many people, just to start off with, and... Uh, most of the times that people have, or I'd say about, I don't know how many have been out, but um, not too many. I'd probably say about a handful of people have got a double hit fire any chem strike. And I'd probably say about 90 something percent of those guys have done it on hardcore, which obviously make, obviously is a bit easier because they die in like a bullet. But um, I've done this one in core, and not only that, I've done this in free for all, which is probably makes it even harder to get just because double free for all chem strikes by themselves are not easy to get I know a few friends and that have been going for um, double free for all chem strikes with the honey badger and guns that are really overpowered and have struggled to get a double chem strike in free for all but I have done that but I've done that by doing it hit fire only so I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay I was super super stoked when I got this gameplay uh, my heart was so pounding so much and for those who are wondering this was a gameplay that I was going on about the lot about a week ago saying that 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 gameplay before was a foreshadowment of this gameplay and as I said only a few people actually knew about it only close friends I wanted to keep this as a secret to most of you guys because if you think about it um, it isn't easy to get I mean as I said before people tried to get double free for all chem strikes with the honey badger and stuff like that and have struggled so go put yourself in my shoes I was shaking like mad I, ha I have had a double FFA chem strike before that was way 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 back on Chris in Christmas I think it was Christmas day or Boxing Day either one of those days and once again my heart was pounding at that time I don't remember it so much now because it was way way back in the day but um, I've now gone back on free for all and my first attempt actually trying to go for this I actually get it um, so I'm really really happy with, with this gameplay if you did enjoy this video please please drop a like rating that'd be mean the world to me um, any support on this video would be much appreciated because it isn't the easiest gameplay if I was to aim for a like goal could we please hit 50 likes on this video that would be absolutely crazy um, I'd be super super happy uh, with that if not that's completely fine but 50 is what I'm going to be aiming for for this video and that would be super super amazing in this gameplay you can probably tell that uh, I'm not actually sitting in, in the same building over and over throughout this gameplay. I'm actually running around, you can see I'm running around like pretty much the whole map. You saw me in Pro Shop earlier and in the first streak and now I've made myself all the way around to the bar. And I end up getting my chem strike at the uh, Skywalk and then I end up leaving. I did make one mistake in this gameplay though. Um, obviously it doesn't matter but it could have been you know critical because it did confuse me in the second streak quite a lot is that called in my chem strike and for those who know about the um, you know dynamic map change on strike zone whenever you call a chem strike in it will obviously you know destroy the map and change up pretty much all everything about the map uh, two of the most important aspects of you know the chem strikes and that could possibly mess up my game was to change in layout which uh, obviously results in different spawn points and that could have been a really big disadvantage for me but in the end it turned out to uh, you know play off really really well as you guys see it's uh, sped up here um, just finished speeding up but I sped up the bit where I left the game and then joined my recent players session and then obviously I got killed uh, just a second ago because I didn't get my streak in that in that life so I'd sped that up just to make it you know don't have to watch the boring part but then again, I didn't want to cut it out the whole way, just to prove that um, it was obviously legit. It was exactly the same game that I had just left. It wasn't a completely different game. Um, another thing you could probably use as, or I could use as proof, or definitely use as proof, is that the map was chemmed. As you guys saw as well, I called it in the chem strike, um, which obviously, as I said earlier, isn't a good thing. <laughs> but it turned out to be good. But then again, that's more evidence that it wasn't fake. But I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't fake this, obviously. It's only a free throw double chem strike, but then again, no one else has ever done this. It's the world's first, as I said before. I haven't said it before in this video, but in other videos, if it's something like minor, 
I mean, it is a really good gameplay, don't get me wrong, one of my best, but it's not like a standout gameplay, if you know what I mean. People would rather click on, or not rather, but be more enticed by a, a title which says, you know, world's first Octa Chem Strike over like a double hit fire chem strike, as you guys know. I mean, double in the community now is kind of generic, but uh, there's different ways of doing unique stuff. I'm trying to like, it sounds like I'm really dumbing down the gameplay when it really isn't bad, but um, yeah, I think you guys know what I mean. I mean, the title is what I'm on about, not the content, the title is more appealing if it was an Octa Chem Strike. So um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just going to quickly talk about you know the, what I was doing in the second streak because I was really, really, really nervous at this point. You can tell, if you just look at the score, this guy in first place was at 25 kills when I'm only on a 14 gun streak. I don't know if that says 25 or 23, excuse me, um, but if it is, it's one of those two, he was miles ahead of me, which is the main point. And uh, the fact that I managed to get 24 before he got to 30 was pretty amazing, I'm really, really happy about it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it about the second point and the second streak and how lucky I was. The lobby, once again, just to add in to the, you know, the luck part, was absolutely insane. I mean, their skill wasn't insane, their skill was absolutely atrocious, but um, the lobby, as in for gameplay standards, a pub stomping lobby, or you could call it a dire lobby if you, if you really want, because all these guys were horrible. I mean, when I say die, obviously it wasn't set up, but um, I mean, like they were really, really bad. That's what people call die lobbies. And how did I not die by that grenade there? How did I not die? That was so, so lucky. Um, I was one shot and still didn't die. I don't even think I had blast shield on, which made it even more interesting and a bit odd that I didn't die at that point. Because normally I'd only get shot once and I'd still buy, die by the grenade at that range. But I was so, so lucky in this gameplay. You guys will not understand how much my heart was pumping at this point in the gameplay. Um, it was so, so clutch. So if you guys, once again, could drop a like rating if you haven't already, that'd be so, so, so awesome. But once again, hope you guys enjoyed today's gameplay. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.